spot on they are, spot on. Hello? Hey Upscraft, you right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. You? Yeah, good, good. Oh, I'm starting day for it. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Are we ready to go? Ah, uh, ready to go. Uh, what time are we on now, half eight? Are you about ready? Uh, I've got a few jobs to do that I promised for Beanie, and I need to go down to the farm and speak to George, so how long are you thinking? Uh, well, everything's pretty much set up now. I just need to have a quick look at this lectin. Probably take me like an hour and a half. Then you could be down here in, say, two hours. What, half ten? Oh, half ten, that'll work for me, yeah, perfect. I'll be there, definitely. Looking forward to it. Oh, well, we've got finished the job, haven't we? Yeah. I'll be down on half ten, Jerry. Okay, see you later, Scroff. Thanks again. No problem, mate. See ya. Right. Let's go see George quickly then. Best get a move on. Get everything done now. He finished this off. I think he's got two fields left that I need to get an help out with, so shouldn't be too bad. I wonder what he's done with all them bales though. Maybe he's sat them up. I know the the other two fields that them other farmers are working on that are helping him out. Um, they they still need to bailing off. So, I guess yeah, I guess that's happened. It's been a few days now since I was last there. I bloody hope so anyway, because if not, it's a lot of work to do. Uh, if we just focus on the two fields, that shouldn't be too bad. Anyway, let's go see George see how he is. I haven't had a phone call off him yet, which I'm surprised about. He's normally rang me what, by half eight. At least two times. <laughs> he's probably occupied on his donut run. Probably, he's probably found a new donut. And that's what's happened. He's found a new donut, and he's uh, super excited about it. He's probably bought a dozen of them, and he's trying them out. Oh, they've done such good work with that build. It's flying up now. Um, well, his doors open. There's no big surprise there, is there? <laughs> He's got me inside. He's got me. Do you know what? I've got an idea. <laughs> it's not a good idea, but it's fun. Let's do this. Right. <laughs> Who's bloody shut this door? Is that you, Scroft? Open the bloody door! Bloody hell, fire, I've had enough of this! Who's, who the bloody hell's done this? <laughs> uh, hello? Scroft, where are you? <coughs> who the bloody hell's knocking on this? Who, where was that? Right, who the bloody hell's playing tricks on me? I'm not having it. I ain't got time for this. Where are you? It's you, in it, Scroff. Where are you? Come on. Bloody lazy hard borrower. <laughs> I think I've made him angry now. Right. No one, buddy. I'm going crazy. Right, let's just leave it and do it. Let's get this done for Beanie. <laughs> Let him calm down a bit. Uh, right. Come on, Reuben. Let's hop over here. All right, Winnie, how are you getting on? You all right? Right, Reuben. Are you going to play nice today? I promised Beanie I'd ride you. So you've just got to play nice, yeah? Come on, we're both new at this. Right, so let's go get all the tackle. Oh, steady, steady. There you go, Reuben. That's it. Perfect. Well, even when he's joining us. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Not that fast. That's it. Calm down. Whoa, I'm still new at this, but I promised Beady I'd, I'd ride Reuben. Trying to get, trying to get him trained like Winnie. Perfect when he is. She's what you'd call bomb proof. 
Oh, hey, oh, bloody hell. Cowboy scruff. Donna George, I'm trying to take this seriously. I'm trying to focus. Hurry and bloody hell, buy it. What are you doing? You look like a plonker. <laughs> no, I don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? I'm I'm riding Reuben for Beanie. She asked me to. Bloody hell. Oh, I never thought I'd see the day you ride a horse. Oh, I know why, innit? Oh, we all know why. Oh, day, night. No, it's got nothing to do with that. It bloody is. When I first met you, you would have never been riding bloody horses. But look at you now, Dean, your chivalrous dance. You're like, howdy, ma'am. <laughs> no. I never said howdy, ma'am. No, you have to say it in the bloody accent. Come on. Howdy, ma'am. No, that's not what's happening here, George. I'm just doing Beanie a favour. All right, then. Bloody hell. You're going to fool me, I'm telling you. Go on, then. Put foot down. Put your foot down. It's into car, George. Well, I don't know, do I? I've never really ridden a horse. Make it go faster. George, he's got an... He, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a he, and he's got a name. His name's Reuben. I know that, but go on, put your foot down. Bloody hell. Right, fine, I'll go a little bit faster. Go on, then. Bloody hell, it's boring, this is. <laughs> Are you happy now? Ah, oh, bloody hell, ah, oh, it's a bit better. Still a bit slow, is it, isn't it? Hey, I might get you start doing me donut runs. You can bugger off, George. I ain't going on a donut run on a bloody horse. Well, I know. Why, why don't you go on a bloody donut run? I bloody do every day, but I'm just saying you're good, couldn't you? No, you can bugger off. Anyway, I'm, I'll, be, I'll be back in a minute. Why, where are you going? I've got to go see this builder. Why? Well, I'm having a look around. Come with me if you want. Uh, yeah, I want to have a look, George. Definitely inside. Oh, we're going inside. Bloody hell, yeah, I haven't actually been in through the fences since they've been putting all it up. It's shut up now. Well, get off that bloody horse then. Come on. Give me give me five minutes then. Well, all right, hurry up then. I want to wait you no longer. All right then. Give me five. Right, Reuben, I think that's going to have to do for the day. Sorry, buddy. Things to do. I'm here, George. I'm here. All right, and go on then. I've just spoke to a guy. He's all right. We can have a look around. You sure? Well, I come through gate. Bloody hell, fire it's up, Faffy. There you go then. Right, shut them then. Bloody hell. All right then, calm down. Right. Bloody hell, have a look at this, Scroft. George, the fair bit's gone up now. Oh, no. Follow me, buddy. My God. They've been bloody pouring a lot of concrete, haven't they? Yeah, they have. I can see where the beds are going to be. Well, that'll be the beds with cows. What's that thing down there? Well, give me a second and we'll have a look. They told me they're going to stop for a bit anyway, having break, so maybe having breakfast. But just, I just want to have a quick look around. It's not too bad, is it? Looks like they've put all the framing up. Um, I guess the next stage is, you know, making it bloody look proper. <laughs> it already looks proper to me, George. I know that. I'm just saying, you know. Bloody hell, there's a bit of a dip down here now. How's this all going to work out? Oh, bloody hell, it'll work out. Don't worry about that. Is this going to be grass? Ah, that'll be grass area, that will. Cows will come out that way. Um, Pretty much where this guy in here is dipping concrete, it'll come out this way. All right, then. And then it'll kind of, like, fade down them. Yep. Salo bunker. All of it'll be around. Hey, that bloody field over there, we need mulch that. I know we do, George, I know. On that one over there. I know, but I may as well do it all together. Well, all right, and well, remember, we got bloody next month, we got harvest that barley off, the remaining two fields, and then oh, bloody, we're going to need to make some hay. Bloody important we get hay done. I know, George, I know. It's a quiet time right now, we said that, didn't we? So I'm doing this work for Jerry today, I'll finish that off, and then, yeah, I'll crack on with that. I'll probably prioritise the harvest, then the hay. Well, it depends, doesn't it? If we've got good weather, we can do the harvest. Well, so it needs need good weather for hay as well. Well, oh, true, true. But, you know, we've got three main jobs, I'd say. Harvest, make some hay, when you've got mulch, these fields ready for next time. Yeah, right, and are we planting in over winter? 
I may as well do, and don't start with me about bloody planters and cedars. Oh, God, George. How many times are we going to go past this? Uh, as many as we need. I've prioritised other things. I think with everything I've been spending recently in building, it's best just get something on lease. All right, then. That's what you want to do. Well, I think so for a while. Fair play. Well, if you can get it in when we need to do the job, I don't mind. Well, well that'll happen, won't it? Anyway, come on, up over here a minute. I just want to have a look. Uh, they're doing all right there. Yep, yeah, beds will be there. A few little areas over there for a bit of storage. Tanker goes in there. What, for the milk? Oh, uh, and then in here. Come bloody look at this thing. How clever is this? The hell, George? you got a big hole in the ground. What are you making? A bunker? What? What do you mean? Well, I'm having a bunker, ah, but for grass. No, I mean like an underground bunker, like bloody missile silo or something. No, bloody missile silo. You're off your head, you what? Do you think I am? Bloody triple agent, double agent, C CR5, whatever the bloody thing's called. <laughs> CI5? It's MI5 and CIA. You're getting mixed up. Well, I don't know, do I? Bloody hell. I got bored of Agatha Christie. Never mind, bloody anything else. <laughs> I can see you watching Agatha Christie. <laughs> bloody all right. Uh, uh, she was a good one, she was. Anyway, anyway, bloody hell, uh, you talk about Agatha Christie. No, this is a bloody parlour, this is. This is? Oh, I'm going to have a rotary parlour right here, I told you. Bloody hell, so this is the start of it. Ah, uh, cows will come in, uh, go round on this bloody rotary, and then come out one side. Uh, you'll be, st I tell you, a few months from now, Scroft, you'll be standing here with me. Right, and I'll be showing you it all. Teaching you finally I'll milk a bloody cow. Ah, I'm looking forward to it, George. Can't wait. Well, there you go, then. Yeah, it's flying up, isn't it? Ah, yeah, bloody is, they're doing a good job. Told you, as soon as that, as soon as that bloody nightmare we had was sorted, wiped around the bloody Tim, yeah, they can crack on with the job, can't they, at that point? Yeah. Well, there you go, then. What are you doing now then, George? Me. Got a few bits and bobs to do, but nothing major. Why, what are you doing? i got to go down to Jerry's. Said it to him I'd be there in two hours. It's probably already been about, what, an hour and 15, so i got 45 minutes. All right, and no worries. Hey, come have a look at this. Yeah, I know, I've seen George. i got him knock it down. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it will. It's all right, isn't it? Nothing's going to go there. Going to have to re tarmac it down, like, or put something down, maybe a bit of gravel. There's a bit of uh, rubble that they need scooped off, but they're going to get it done for me soon enough. I think it's a, be a much better idea, George, because look now, like you said, it's a nice open yard area. Scoop through and all that. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Does the job, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Right, anyway, I'll leave you to it. Go on and get some work done. Should pay you well, Jerry should. Do you know what he's going to pay you yet? No, I haven't got a clue. I'm hoping it's good. Well, I think it will. I'm going to guess he's going to pay you 3000 3000 I'll be happy with that. You're not bad at all. Then again, that's probably about going right, really, for the amount of work you've done, harvesting. Bloody hell. Yeah, I'd say about 3000 for that he'd pay for helping out. Well, fingers crossed then, George, eh? That'll go a long way. All right, Rick, see you in a bit, buddy. See you in a bit, mate. I'll give you a bow later. Oh, see you. The old fire. They've done a cracking job of that. And even knocking this bit down here. I know knocking down, you know, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? They want the strongest building in the world or the biggest. I guess moving the rubble comes the problem then, but tarmacking down, yeah, I'll get sorted out quick enough. Nice open area then to work with when the, the new cow shed is up. Ah, uh, should be spot on. Right, let's get to Jerry's and let's get this sorted. Finish this work off for him so we can get paid. That'll do. Let's go find him. He said he was out on the yard working on that Lexi in there, so he'll be down that way. 
Let's head through here, see what he's cracking on with. He's parked up that harvester in that trailer, so... Are we not using that today? Bloody hell, fire! <laughs> hey, he hasn't half shifted some bales in here. Right there. Hey up, Jerry, you alright? Bloody hell, you, you haven't half done some bales, have you? Oh, we done well, we got them stacked away and everything. Yeah, we did really well. We even uh, mulched all the fields, ready for next time round. Bloody hell. You haven't messed about, have you? No, well, you know, may as well, sort of sitting around. Biggest time of the year this is for us. Oh, you're doing well, mate. Good all the straw as well, that'll last you out. Guess you've got some more coming in as well. Oh, bloody hell, I have. I'm still waiting on them beans to grow. So they're not even anywhere near ready harvest yet. When they are, I'll get more off that. I've got a field of canola now, and then we've got another field of root, and that's what we're going to be doing today. But I don't want straw off the canola. Never makes that good a straw, really, so uh, we'll just make it off the oats. All right, and fair play. Is it just us two? Ah, uh, just us two today. Fair play. Do you want me to get out on this then today? Well, uh, get out on this, ah. Uh. Okay, mate, no problem, will do. Tucano. I thought you said it was Alexian. Oh, no, ah, uh, bloody hell, Tucano. They're the same thing, aren't they? <laughs> Not really. This, this is a better model, mate, than that. You're selling yourself short. Well, oh, bloody hell. Don't no matter. Still does the same job. <laughs> Alright then. Right, so what are we doing then? Right, well I'm just going to finish this off. Give me five minutes and then uh, we'll get out. We'll, we'll start with the oats. I'll drop a bit of straw, I'll do that. And then uh, you can do carting for me and a bit of bailing. Alright mate, no problem. Um, and then you can you can do this harvest. You can do the harvesting of the canola if you want and I'll do carting. Sounds like a plan mate. Right, well do me a favour and jump in the massey. Take that bailer down, jump balls around there, the McCormick, you'll see it. Take trailer down, and then come back up to me. Righto, keys in. Ah, keys are in. I'll start with this, I don't know if I'll get past you there. Ah, but you can reverse it. Bloody hell, Jerry. Reversing three things, I'm all right, mate. <laughs> Go on, you can do it. Have faith. I'll wait for you. Yeah, even this is a good track. He's got some good kit, Auntie Jerry. He really has. That Massey, though. Man, that Massey's the fav my favourite so far. Definitely. Right. He's got another oat field, so I need to figure out how I'll get in that. Um, I know it's up that way. No traffic. They fly by here, don't they? Right, I've got a feeling I'm going to have to go this way for this. I think, I think the entrance is going to be off on the side here. We have another farm up here. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll swing it, because I think we've got a car behind me. We're going to have a sneaky look at this farm, eh? Yeah, what the hell? No one farming on it, might be for sale. <laughs> Maybe one day, maybe one day. Someone's definitely living here though. I hope they don't mind. Right. Let's get this open. Might leave the trailer here. It's going to be difficult to get in and out of this field. God, it looks good though. Them oats do. <laughs> he has. He knows what he's doing. Jerry does. Some good yield coming off. Well, wait for this car to go by. Hey, Jerry. Are you? Yeah. Uh, that top field with the oats in the small one. What? Uh, I didn't know where I parked the trailer. So there's a little farm across the road. Just a bit of a track to the side. Uh, you mean Clifford? Whoever, whoever you're on about. Oh, he don't do no farming on it. He's trying to sell it. It'll be out soon. I've only met him recently, so he seems all right. What, what, what have you done? I've just parked the trail and the tractor on the other side instead of blocking the road. It's going to be too, you know, I don't want to do no crop damage, so I've just put it there. 
Okay, well, I'll, I'll give him a bow and let him know. It's probably best thing to do. Uh, I tell you what, do then part them. I never thought about that. So part the Massey and the the Eston in this field across the road, just on the track, and then when we need it, we'll have to walk to it. All right, mate, we'll do. You sure you're right, reversing? I'll give it a good go. Well, I'm nearly done anyway. I'll give it a good go. Um. Bloody hell, don't want to mess this up. Come on, girl. No, so far, not too bad. Hey, I'm proud of that. Three things like that, that ain't bad at all. Right. It's this massive, that's what it is. It's a sign that I should get one. <laughs> In my dreams, maybe. <laughs> Alright, we'll park it across here then, like he said. Bloody hell, he has done the fields, hasn't he? Watched them all. Huh. Fair play to him. Been busy, Jerry has. Definitely got a better operation, hasn't he, for Arable than we have. But he ain't got the animals. And with the, the cow shed being put up by George, I could definitely say this guy, he's an arable farmer, whereas George is probably more of a dairy farmer. Right, I'll leave that there, and... Uh, yeah, we'll wait it out. Uh, I'm here, mate. Everything right? Uh, just to let you know, he's alright, but Vanessa's told him. He's fine with it, just not in there for a bit. Fair play. Right, I'll do the first handling, and then you can head in. I'll give you a nod. Alright, buddy, no worries. Okay, we'll just get ready for me call. Will do, Jerry. Just wait out them. Um, tell you what, I'll uh, scoot this back, get ready for when he does nod us off. We are quite close to that uh, to that fence. Gonna need a good angle for this. It's quite a tight gate. Ah, oh, that should do. Watch him. Let's have, let's have a quick look, see how he's getting on. Picking up a bit, isn't he? Again, good yield. <laughs> nice summer's day. Boiling hot today, though. Boiling hot, man. Glad that tractor's got air con. It's like nearly 30 degrees today. Ah, looking good there, mate. Looking good. Right, I'll come on in then to the field. Now that I've got space for it. Oh man, this is not going to be easy. If I go in on this angle, I should just about make this. Oh man, that was close though. That was close. How are you picking up so far, Jerry? Well, not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually, I think. I think it's just as good as the other ones, really. Gotta complain, honestly, I'm done off me. Fair play. Right. No worries, mate, backing off. Hey, what we'll do, we'll tackle the canola meal now. You can jump in harvester, and then you can do the bailing out for me, eh? Yeah, that's fine with me. Save a bit of fuel. Doing this drawing here is going to be easy, really. Easy. Right, I'll wait for him doing. He probably won't need emptying now till till he's finished that field. So I may as well just wait it out. Take a bit of this sun in.
Is that it then, Jerry? Alright mate, will do, will do. Okay, buddy, thank you. Right, let's see if we can get this through here. Not gonna enjoy this. Road looks clear. Just about. Oh, we somehow did that. That was a tight, tight corner. Right, so we just got to drop this off. First bin, he said. And then we'll take over with the harvest. Not too bad, really. Doing well for time. Really well. George, you know, this could be the first time in ages that George hasn't actually called me in the day. Now, I know he said he's got some bits to do, but I don't know what that is, because he's normally faffing about, let's be honest. Yeah. I've not got any faffing so far. Oh, God, that was close. More me faffing today. Right, uh... Yeah, he's not over there. He must be in the field waiting. I guess we can just switch over. I mean, should I give George a bell just to make sure he's all right? Yeah, I'm going to give him a call. It's not like him not ring. Maybe he's actually busy. <laughs> Maybe he is. Hello? Hey, up, George, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right, mate. How are you? I'm, I'm good, yeah. Just done the first field. Got to bail that one up, but it's only small. And now we're just working on, on the last bill, which is the, the canola one. Alright then, buddy, that's not too bad, is it? No, it's straightforward enough, mate. Straightforward enough. Well, Alright then, right. Well, uh, anything I can help you with? Not really, I just. just strange you've, you haven't rang today. Well, I know you were bloody out with Jerry, so. Yeah. But I've, I've just been trying to do something. Oh, God, what are you trying to do now? But nothing, buddy, but I'll have you know. I've, uh, I've found an accumulator. What, for the, the Heston Baylor? Ah, so, uh, I'm just trying to arrange, go and have a look at it and maybe, yeah, have it dropped off, but the problem is, you're going to deliver it, so if I do decide to buy it, I've got nobody bring it back somehow, so well, I'm thinking of putting it on a trailer. Are you going to have a look at it today? Well, I was thinking too, it's not too far away, about an hour's drive. Alright, and well, fair play then. So you're not faffing then, for once? I on a bloody faffing, it's only you faffing. Hey, and also, don't you think I'm that dumb that I didn't know you earlier on, bloody knocking on the window, opening and closing bloody doors? I, I on a stupid. I don't know what you're on about, George. Well, well, that bloody says it all. It's definitely you. Bloody wind up merchant. I'm not daylight today, bloody over 30 degrees outside. Gotta get that breeze going through the house. <laughs> well, I don't have to worry about that. Anyway, I've got aircon. Oh, bloody aircon, hey. Uh, bloody life, these youngsters live nowadays, they don't know what tough is, do they? You don't know how good you got it. <laughs> right, anyway, I'll crack on, just checking you're right. Well, I'm alright, see you in a bit. See you, mate. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done, sorry about that, I was just on phone. Oh, it's alright, bloody lovely day out it while waiting. Right, jump in and, uh, yeah, give me a nod when you need me. Alright, buddy, is it ready to go? Pretty much, yeah. Just turn around and go. Right, well, same for the trail and tractor behind. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, looking good so far, looking good. This is a nice harvester. Quiet in here. I'm surprised how quiet it is. I can actually hear myself think for once. No, 
Nice aircon. He's got it set up in here, Jerry has. No wonder. No wonder we're using this one. <laughs> right, best thing do. Get radio on. Where is she? There we are. Let's crack on. today. Bloody glad I got this aircon. 20 to 2 and it's like over 30 degrees. <laughs> Perfect day for doing harvesting but whew, man, it's getting warmer. Yep. Hello? Hi Scruff, it's Beanie. Oh, hi Beanie, you alright? Yeah, I'm good. Are you in Jerry's field out in a red tractor? Am I in Jerry's field in a red tractor? Yeah, I am. Why? Um, I'm here. What? What do you mean you're here? Whereabouts are you? I'm just coming down the road now. Okay, uh... What, what... Do you want me to come to you? Well, I, well, I brought some food and drinks for you, because I know it's a hot day, and I didn't know if you had any food or anything, and George said you'd, you'd be up here. Oh, nice one, Beanie. Legend. Um, I can see you now. I can see where you are. Just pull up there and I'll come out to you. All right, I've got a blanket with me as well. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, perfect. We'll have a, a bit of a picnic, eh? Yeah, it's a perfect day for it. Yeah, it is. Nice one for this, Beanie. I really appreciate it. Thank you. No worries. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Give me, give me five minutes and I'll be with you. See you in a sec. <laughs> what a nice surprise, man. That's so kind. I can do with it as well. I'm, I am a bit hungry, but... Having a drink, some, that'll go a long way. Definitely. Right, I'll, uh, I'll get up to the top of here and then I'll finish. should do for a bit. Right. Right, let that have a bit of a break. Um, I think I can cut through there. What a day. What I think this could be one of the nicest and hottest days we've had since we moved over to Court Farms. 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, Beanie, you're a lifesaver, honestly. Ice cold drink. Just what I needed. I know, I can't believe how hot it is. It's scorching. It really is. Nice day to be out in the fields, don't get me wrong, but... Oh, I'll be lost without the aircon, tell you that. <laughs> I can imagine. Are you all done for the day then? Yeah, yeah, I'm all done. It's too hot to do much, to be fair. I don't think George has really been out. No, he did say he was heading out. He's uh, He's gone out. I'm not too sure where. He just said he was going to look at something for the farm. That's not too bad then. No, but I should be done soon as well. I've only got a bit of bailing left and then, yeah... I'll be probably heading off myself. I'll have to speak to Jerry because I think that'll be all the work for him done then. But no, this is such a nice treat. You know, a bit of food and some much needed fluids. And uh, yeah, I'll be heading back. Are you. Do you want to. You stay in mine again tonight? Yeah, if you don't mind. No, of course not. May as well, aren't we? Get some. Get something for tea, can't we, as well, if you want? Sounds good to me. What are you thinking? A takeaway? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? I know I shouldn't have too many, but I think, you know, sometimes it's just easiest, convenient. <laughs> That's true. I can even sit outside if you want. Oh, that would be perfect. It's supposed to be a warm evening anyway. But thanks for this. And I've said it a few times, but thank you. I really, I appreciate you coming out to me like this. No worries at all, Scroft. I enjoy it. Well, I, you know, I feel very grateful anyway. Anyway, I've got some ice cream if you want some. <laughs> ice cream? What is it? I got some white chocolate magnums. Nice. I'll have one of them, definitely. <laughs> Feel spoilt now. Are you around, Jerry? Oh, I'm over here. All right, mate, come in. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing. Oh, it's right in. How'd you get on? Yeah, fine, mate. There weren't too much in that field. Oh, no, uh... Well, I have to say, Scroff. Right, you've helped me out so much, and I probably couldn't have done it without you, so... Yep, I want to just thank you, really do. We've done quite a lot of work there between us. Yeah, we sure have. Fair few fields we've harvested. Got a lot of straw off it. Hopefully your grain will pay off. Oh, it will. Come in well, that is. Looks like good stuff. Anyway, it's about time I pay you. Oh, if you don't mind, Jerry, that'd be that'd be awesome. I'm gonna head off soon as well. I oh, know. I saw you. I saw Beanie come out to you, having a bit of food out with the field. It looked bloody lovely. Nice day for it. Yeah, it is, mate. I know it was nice of her come. I didn't even realise she was, uh, yeah, gonna surprise me like that. So it was nice of her. Oh, you got to keep it there, mate. You really have. <laughs> That's one, Jerry. Right, well, here you go. Oh, thanks, mate. Thanks. Are you going to check it? No, it don't matter, mate. I know you'll pay me fair. Um, I'll count it when I get home. Well, bloody hell, bugger that. I've paid you 5,000. 5,000? Five, 5, Is that what's in this envelope? What? Bloody hell, Jerry. Thank you. £5,000 for that. Well, you've done a lot, mate. you got to think, right? We've just got pretty much six fields bloody harvested, bailed up and everything. You've done a lot for me, and I, and I appreciated it, so I'll pay you because I want you to do it again. <laughs> well, thank you, mate. £5,000 pounds a lot of money, and that's going to really help me out, so thank you. Oh, well, you earned it. Well done. Thanks, Jerry. Right. I'll head off, mate. Let me get a bit of shade. Ah, oh, go on, get on with you. Thanks again. Thanks, mate. See ya. <laughs> Five thousand pound. Bloody hell, I didn't expect that. Right, I'm going to go straight home. Straight home. I'm waiting for Beanie to come round. <laughs> Still can't believe she did that. That's dead nice of her.
You've got a really nice spot here. I love it. Honestly, the amount of times I've sat out here, Beanie. I know, I love sitting out here too. Well, you're here a lot. Uh, I think you've actually been out here more times than me recently. Yeah, it's just nice and quiet, nice and private. You don't really get anyone driving past and it's just a nice spot. I know, I know. I bought the bench and everything, but yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? Perfect place to have some food. And I can't believe it's like 26 degrees and almost half past seven. <laughs> I know, it's, an, it's a nice night. Ah, oh, it is. It's crazy, really. I don't even go home anymore. No, you don't. I know. What's the point of me paying rent anymore? I'm always here. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. Yeah. Why don't you move in? What? With you? Here? Well, yeah, why not? I mean, like you said, you're here most of the time. Why don't you move in with me? I mean, George won't mind. I'll speak to him first, obviously, but he's got this for a year and, you know, at least nine months left, at least, that, I think. And I know you're renting now, and if you decide to do it, you might not get the chance to rent it again, but, you know, if, if it works out and you're happy, we could find our own place. Yeah, I'd really like that. Yeah? Yeah, I would. That's that then. You're going to move in? Yeah, speak to George first, and if he's okay, then I'd love to. I'm sure he'll be fine. Ah. That's put a smile on my face. <laughs> I know, I can see. Ah, oh, it's been a good day, man. It's been a, a few good days recently. I think a lot of things happen when the sun's shining. It does make a difference. I'm going to grab a drink. Do you want one? Yes, please. I'll have a beer. Okay. I'll be back one second. Okay, Beanie. I just wanna love you, I just wanna 